In an era where air superiority is crucial, the U.S. Navy is on the hunt for a game-changing innovation. The mission is clear, create an unmatched fighter jet featuring extensive range, stealth, and advanced sensor integration. This is the FAXX. The Navy has committed a significant investment in this new stealth fighter, allocating $1.53 billion in spending for 2024 alone. This figure surpasses the combined funding for the Next Generation Attack Submarine and Next Generation Destroyer programs, underscoring the commitment to maintaining air dominance in the 21st century. One of the primary motivations for developing the new platform is the increasing challenge posed by near-peer adversaries such as China. The People's Liberation Army Navy has been rapidly modernizing, investing heavily in long-range anti-ship missile systems and advanced fighter jets. To counter these advancements, a new aircraft with extended range, superior speed, and enhanced stealth capabilities is required. The FAXX is designed to meet this need, serving as a crucial element of the Next Generation Air Dominance program. Beyond the strategic challenge posed by China, there is also a pressing need to replace the aging F-A-18 Super Hornet fleet, ensuring that the Navy remains equipped with state-of-the-art aircraft. The current U.S. Navy fleet includes the F-A-18 Super Hornet and the F-35C Lightning II, both of which operate from Ford and Nimitz-class supercarriers. While these aircraft are among the most advanced globally, they have certain limitations that the upcoming jet aims to overcome. The Super Hornet has been a dependable workhorse for many years, but it is starting to show its age. One of its main drawbacks is its combat radius, with a maximum range of approximately 640 miles when flying clean, so without external fuel tanks or heavy weaponry, it falls short in scenarios requiring extended reach. This limitation is significant, especially given the vast expanses of the Pacific Ocean and the necessity to operate from safe distances beyond the reach of advanced anti-ship missiles. Additionally, although it can achieve supersonic speeds, it lacks the advanced stealth features required to effectively evade modern radar systems. The F-35C, on the other hand, is a fifth-generation fighter that offers significant advancements in stealth, sensor fusion, and network-centric warfare. However, its combat radius of around 670 miles, while an improvement over the Super Hornet, still does not meet future operational requirements. Its internal weapon bays enhance its stealth capabilities, but limit the amount of ordnance it can carry without compromising its low observable profile. Moreover, while it is optimized for multi-role operations, it may not have the specialized performance characteristics that the new FAXX is expected to provide. The new jet is designed to address these shortcomings. It will replace the aging Super Hornet and work alongside the F-35C, complementing its capabilities. With an anticipated range potentially exceeding 1,000 miles, the FAXX will enable carrier strike groups to operate at safer distances from hostile shores. Its advanced stealth technology will offer superior evasion capabilities, while its high speed will ensure rapid response times and the ability to outmaneuver threats. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. As mentioned earlier, this new jet is currently being developed under the Navy's Next Generation Air Dominance Program and is not to be confused with the similarly named Air Force Initiative to replace the F-22 Raptor. Although these programs share a name, each branch is independently developing a unique platform tailored to its specific operational needs. Details about the fighter's design and capabilities remain largely classified, shrouding the project in secrecy. As a result, precise specifications and features are not publicly available at this stage. However, the Navy has outlined its expectations for the new platform, providing insight into its anticipated technological advancements. In October 2021, the Navy released a document titled The Navy Aviation Vision 2030-2035, which outlined the essential requirements for the jet. The document stated, its specific capabilities and technologies are under development. However, analysis shows it must have longer range and greater speed, incorporate passive and active sensor technology, and possess the capability to employ longer range weapons programmed for the future. So let's now see what we can expect from the aircraft. Considering the outlined requirements, it is expected to feature a larger airframe capable of carrying more fuel and larger weapons internally. This design will allow it to carry a significant payload without compromising its stealth profile, 
ensuring that it remains undetectable to enemy radar systems. A cornerstone of the new fighter jet technological advancements is the development of adaptive cycle engines, particularly the GE XA100. These engines represent a significant leap forward in propulsion technology, offering substantial improvements over conventional jet engines. The adaptive cycle engine can switch between different modes to optimize performance, providing superior fuel efficiency during cruise and high thrust when needed. This engine is designed to maximize both efficiency and power. During routine operations, it operates in a mode that conserves fuel, extending the aircraft's range and reducing the frequency of refueling stops. This feature is particularly advantageous for long-range missions, where operational endurance is critical. When maximum power is required, such as during combat or rapid ascent, the engine adjusts to provide a substantial boost in thrust, enhancing the aircraft's speed and maneuverability. Moreover, the adaptive cycle engine offers improved heat management. Traditional jet engines can generate excessive heat, which not only affects performance, but also increases the aircraft's infrared signature, making it more detectable to enemy sensors. The XA100's advanced cooling technologies mitigate this issue, maintaining optimal operating temperatures and enhancing the aircraft's stealth profile by reducing its heat emissions. The combination of adaptive cycle engines and a larger internal fuel capacity enables the FAXX to operate at distances far beyond those of the current FA-18 Super Hornet and F-35C. Stealth is another critical component of the design, ensuring the aircraft can operate undetected in hostile environments. It will incorporate several key features to minimize its visibility to enemy radar systems. The airframe geometry plays a significant role in its stealth capabilities. The design employs smooth, angular surfaces that scatter radar waves, making it difficult for enemy radar to detect and track the aircraft. This design philosophy is similar to that used in the F-22 and F-35, but includes further refinements to enhance stealth performance. In addition to its shape, the fighter uses radar-absorbing materials on its exterior. These materials absorb and dissipate radar energy, preventing it from reflecting back to enemy sensors. Another essential feature of its stealth design is its internal weapon bays. Unlike older aircraft that carry weapons on external hardpoints, which increase their radar signature, the jet stores its armaments inside the fuselage. And speaking about armaments, the fighter is expected to carry an impressive array of advanced weapons. For air-to-air -air missions, the aircraft will likely be equipped with the AIM-120 AMRAAM, known for its all-weather, beyond-visual-range capabilities. This missile provides a high probability of kill against enemy aircraft, ensuring the jet can engage threats at significant distances. Complementing the AM-120 will be the AM-260JTM, a next-generation missile currently under development designed to surpass the performance of the AMRAAM, offering extended range and enhanced capabilities. Another notable addition to the arsenal can be the Peregrine missile, developed by Raytheon. This smaller yet equally potent missile offers similar range and performance to the AM-120 but with a more compact design, allowing the aircraft to carry more missiles internally. For air-to-ground missions, the new fighter jet will be equipped with several precision-guided munitions. The AGM-158 JASM-ER, a long-range air-launched cruise missile, will provide the capability to strike high-value targets from a safe distance, exceeding 500 miles. This missile's precision and range make it ideal for neutralizing critical enemy infrastructure and heavily fortified positions. Additionally, the AGM-88G AARGM-ER will enhance the fighter's ability to suppress enemy air defenses by targeting radar installations, thus clearing the way for other aircraft and ensuring mission success. The aircraft's versatility extends to maritime operations with the inclusion of the AGM-158C LRASM. This advanced anti-ship missile is designed to detect and destroy enemy vessels from long distances, significantly boosting its maritime strike capabilities. Looking towards future conflicts, the jet is also expected to integrate hypersonic missiles as they enter service. Hypersonic missiles, which today are primarily deployed via platforms such as the B-52 bomber and the F-15 fighter, will provide the new fighter with unprecedented speed and range. As the FAXX leverages these advanced technologies to enhance its operational capabilities, the integration of manned and unmanned systems becomes crucial for maximizing its effectiveness. This brings us to the innovative concept of manned-unmanned teaming, or MUMT, where the fighter jet acts as the quarterback, 
coordinating a team of drone wingmen. This approach enhances the aircraft's capabilities, extending its sensor reach, increasing its firepower, and improving its overall combat effectiveness. In this advanced operational framework, drones will perform various roles, including surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and direct attack missions. By integrating these unmanned systems, the jet can operate more efficiently and effectively across a wide range of scenarios. A key component of the MUM-T concept is the use of attritable assets, low-cost, expendable drones designed to saturate enemy defenses and increase combat effectiveness. These drones, such as the Kratos XQ-58A Valkyrie, are relatively inexpensive to produce and can be deployed in large numbers. Their primary function is to overwhelm enemy air defenses through sheer volume, creating a tactical advantage for the manned aircraft and higher-value unmanned systems operating alongside them. Attritable drones play a crucial role in neutralizing sophisticated enemy defense systems. By sending swarms of these expendable assets into contested airspace, the Navy can force adversaries to expend their limited defensive resources, such as surface-to-air missiles, on targets that are not critical to the overall mission. This strategy, known as a saturation attack, effectively depletes the enemy's defensive capabilities, paving the way for more critical assets to operate with reduced risk. Moreover, these attritable assets can perform various tasks that would otherwise expose manned aircraft to significant danger. The loss of these drones, while not ideal, does not carry the same weight as losing a manned aircraft, making them invaluable tools in high-risk operations. The integration of these assets also allows for a more flexible and adaptive approach to mission planning. Commanders can tailor the composition and deployment of manned and unmanned systems based on the specific requirements of each mission. The development of the new fighter jet is a collaborative effort involving several major defense contractors, each bringing their unique expertise to the project. Key players include Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman, while General Electric and Pratt & Whitney are competing to provide the advanced engines that will power this next-generation fighter. The program has recently completed the concept refinement phase and entered the design maturation phase. This stage involves detailed engineering and extensive testing to finalize the aircraft's design and capabilities. However, the program has faced recent delays and budget adjustments. The Senate Armed Services Committee recently proposed a drastic 90% cut in funding for the fiscal year 2025, reducing the budget from nearly $1 billion to just under $54 million. This decision is part of broader financial constraints imposed by the Fiscal Responsibility Act of 2023 which has forced the Navy to reallocate resources to prioritize near-term operational needs over future modernization efforts. The funding cut has effectively delayed the program, pushing back major contract awards and extending the development timeline. This delay comes at a critical juncture, as the Navy had already decided to end the production of the Boeing-made F-A-18 Super Hornet. Since 2020, the Navy has been signaling its intent to cease procurement of new Super Hornets by 2023, with the expectation that the funds saved would be redirected to the new fighter. The combination of halted Super Hornet production and delayed development of the next-gen jet poses significant challenges. With the new aircraft now facing funding uncertainties and an extended timeline, the Navy could experience a capability gap in its strike fighter fleet. The reliance on existing platforms like the F-35C Lightning II may increase in the interim, but this strategy may not fully compensate for the anticipated shortfall. Despite these setbacks, Navy officials have reaffirmed their commitment to the long-term development of the new fighter. The Navy plans to request substantial funding for this project in future fiscal years. Additional funding could also still come from other sources, especially in the classified realm. Given the current geopolitical climate and the rapidly advancing military capabilities of adversaries, particularly in the Pacific region, it is crucial for the Navy to continue advancing the program. The Pacific region has become a focal point of geopolitical tensions, primarily due to the rising military capabilities of China. As the largest and most dynamic economic zone, the Pacific is crucial for global trade and security. China's military modernization has been swift and comprehensive, significantly altering the balance of power in the Pacific. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy has expanded its capabilities with advanced technologies, including long-range anti-ship missiles and stealth fighters. This military buildup aims to assert China's dominance in the region, particularly in contested areas like the South China Sea. 
where China has constructed military installations on artificial islands, further asserting its territorial claims. The development of stealth fighters like the Shenyang FC-31, also known as the J-31, represents a significant leap in China's aerial capabilities. These fighters are designed to operate from aircraft carriers, enhancing China's ability to project power far from its shores. This growing fleet of stealth aircraft, combined with advancements in missile technology, poses a substantial threat to the naval forces of other countries operating in the Pacific, including the United States. One of the most pressing threats to U.S. naval operations in the Pacific comes from China's arsenal of long-range anti-ship missiles. These weapons are designed to target and destroy aircraft carriers and other high-value naval assets, thereby limiting the operational freedom of U.S. carrier strike groups. The DF-21D, often referred to as the carrier killer, is a medium-range ballistic missile specifically developed to target large ships at sea. It can travel at hypersonic speeds and is equipped with maneuverable re-entry vehicles, making it difficult to intercept. The DF-21D's range and precision allow it to strike carriers well beyond the range of conventional ship-based defenses, significantly increasing the risk for U.S. naval assets operating within its reach. Another formidable missile in China's arsenal is the DF-26, which has an even greater range than the DF-21D. Known as the Guam Killer, the DF-26 can target ships and land-based assets, extending China's strike capability across the Pacific and even threatening U.S. bases in Guam. The presence of these advanced missile systems creates what is known as an anti-access area denial environment. This strategy aims to prevent or limit the ability of adversary forces to operate freely within a contested area. For the U.S. Navy, this means that carrier strike groups must operate at much greater distances from the Chinese coast to avoid the threat of these missiles. Consequently, this limits the effectiveness of carrier-based aircraft, as they may not have the range to reach their targets without exposing the carriers to significant risk. To mitigate these risks, the U.S. Navy must develop new tactics and technologies, such as the FAXX, which promises extended range and advanced stealth capabilities to operate effectively in these contested environments.